Hey, how's it going? Well, earlier tonight I almost shaved my head again. I'm not liking the way it looks, uh, but I will probably get over that. To me, it's just kind of getting a little bit thin, and I don't want it to start looking like WarCorp 666's hair. But, you know, uh, to me, he needs to shave his head. He needs to give it up because that's way too thin to be growing it out long. But that's my opinion, and he can do what, what he wants with his own hair. Um, but I don't want to look like that, but I don't think it's nearly that bad yet, but, uh, but I'd rather not use that many products all the time because in order to keep from having scalp problems, I have to, I have to wash it every day or every other day. I'd rather have it be four or five days for that so I can keep some natural oils in the hair, but I seem to have scalp problems. I always have, which is one of the reasons why I would shave it anyway. I'm rambling. Um, the reason why I wanted to make this video is uh, Kyle Kalinske, I think that's his last name, uh, of Secular Talk. Every time I say secular, I start thinking about how I will have a tendency to pronounce nuclear incorrectly, and I'll say nuclear. And so whenever I say secular, I suddenly think, oh, am I saying that wrong? No, no, that's fine. It's, it's not secular. <laughs> so, um, he uh, made a video talking about how we're further finding that uh, antibiotic, uh, antibacterial uh, resistant bacteria is continuing to be a problem, and they're thinking that by 2050, there will be millions and millions and millions and millions of people dying every year because of uh, antibacterial, uh, antibiotic-resistant bacteria. And it just gets me thinking about how much we overuse so many products. Uh, antibacterial soaps. And there are some people who think, well, there's nothing different in that. Well, yeah, there is. Antibacterial soap specifically have stuff in it that will kill bacteria. It's not just something to wash stuff off. It's designed to kill bacteria. Kill, kill, kill. You know, and to some degree, we need to learn to coexist with bacteria and build up natural immunities so we're not having to kill, 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 you know. Um... We, we we use far too many products. And I think about how... I mean, if you just combine the wrong thing with bleach, for instance, uh, you have a toxic substance that has toxic fumes. And... Uh, I mean, it, what, toilet bowl cleaner and bleach? Yeah, you don't want to combine those things. Um, and yet, the combination of all the products we use goes into the, our sewage. And then remnants of our sewage ends up going into the oceans and the bay. Bay, the oceans, well, basically the same thing. Bay, sickly, the same thing. I mean, sewage treatment plants only do so much. There's still going to be some leftover chemicals. Um, I think about... Uh, the way it is now, if you go to a grocery store and you've been a, you've not used so many products all the time, you will smell the uh, detergents and cleaners and all of that stuff that's on the detergent aisle. It, you open those doors open and it gets whoosh and you get bombarded with the smell of that aisle. Um. And it's kind of weird that people don't seem to notice this and people don't seem to see a problem with this. Oh, I, I'm instead of cleaning something, I'm just going to spray something that that kills bacteria and covers the scent. Or and some people don't even bother doing that. They'll just spray something that covers the scent and, and then wonder why they get sick so much. But... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of the uh, Tim Burton Batman movie. 
where uh, the Joker had this plan where, you know, well, people can use this product and, and, or, or this product, but if they use these two products together, it's a deadly combination. And I just think about the plethora of products we've got out there and people just indiscriminately use all the time and don't give it any thought. Now, I'm not one of these people who thinks chemicals bad because, I mean, nature. I mean, you, you break apart anything into chemicals. You can break apart an orange into its basic chemicals. Um, but for me, it's it's... It's when we combine, it's like, I mean, man-made chemicals, we will break things apart into smaller, into their basic uh, components, their basic chemicals, and then we combine them in ways that you normally wouldn't find in nature, although in nature you have, you have plenty of things that are deadly, but we combine things in ways that we that normally wouldn't be combined, and then we combine those things with other things that wouldn't, wouldn't normally combine, be combined, and then those combinations of things that we've combined, we combine with other things, and then I think about sewage, I think about the coral reefs dying, I think about uh, all these times you can't eat the fish, uh, I don't know, uh, it just doesn't seem like a good combination. I think about all the uh, antibiotics that we give to livestock. Uh, antibiotics that aren't even necessary, but let's give it to them anyway. And uh, I mean, we are creating these superbugs. We don't give much thought as to what our effects on this planet are. And when something as basic as climate change is denied by a lot of right-wingers, something that we have evidence for, but it's denied, do you think we're going to be able to look at the, fa at, at the chemical usage we have? Do you think we're going to look at that? No, probably not. It's a strange thing. It's a strange thing. I think we. it would be great if we could go more minimalist with uh, our chemical usage. But uh, that's not going to happen because consumerism. Consumerism runs our lives. Consumerism is our culture. And consumerism kind of runs the world. It's also why I think it's silly when people will talk about, oh, we need to keep uh, promoting the idea of, of NASA. Uh, let's, let's try to make it so we can eventually uh, inhabit some other planet. No, that's stupid. By the time, I mean, not even, by the time we've even gotten a tenth of the way to that kind of goal, we'll be dead if we don't change some of our ways on this planet. We're going to wipe, off, wipe humans off the face of the planet as well as a bunch of other life. Now, no, no matter what, there's going to still be some life here. But I'd like to, I, I, I don't want to see humans wiped off the face of this planet. Uh, I also don't want to see a bunch of other life wiped off the face of this planet. Um, it'd be nice if we could think of harm reduction, but it's that just doesn't seem to be on people's agenda because people like their products, and again, consumerism seems to run the world. So, what do you do? I just wish people were more aware of this stuff, or at least just gave it a little bit more thought than they normally do. So, anyway. <laughs>